The McIntyre Wind Precinct is the largest project Akfiona Enahia has currently uh, under development, construction or operations in our fleet. A project of this size hasn't yet been done here in Australia. This project entails the construction of 180 Nordex turbines. It covers the area of about 35,000 hectares. The site actually is about uh, 25 kilometres long by about 15 kilometres wide, and it has about 220 kilometres of internal roads that we're constructing to gain access to all of those turbines. The McIntyre Wind Precinct commenced construction early 2022. We're currently performing civil earthworks, delivering turbine components to site, and we have commenced installation of turbines. Uh, during the early part of next year, we'll commence electrical infrastructure construction, and the project will continue construction through to a completion date targeted for February 2025. One of the challenges we face is around the logistics and getting the blades from the Port of Brisbane out to site here. It's a journey of approximately 300 kilometres and can take up to seven or eight hours depending on how the run goes. Topography here at the McIntyre Wind Precinct is unique, it's challenging, varied. A project of this size presents a really significant civil earthworks challenge, particularly associated with the rock that's present here on site. When we first mobilised out here, the region was coming off seven years of drought. However, the weather has been something that we've really had to work around given the unseasonably heavy rains and flooding. This impacts all areas of the project from access roads to civil works, which has been something we've had to manage. Currently, Axiona Inner here have approximately 35 personnel on site, directly employed. We also have a contractor's workforce uh, of up to 650 and that's expected to get to about 750 people once we get all of the cranes and the commissioning teams all on site here. So with a workforce of that size, accommodation is obviously one of the key points that we need to look at when we first start looking at the planning of the project like this. So the decision was made to do a 450 man camp, which we've currently erected over by the main office area, and that services for most of our contractors. Axione Inner here, we have our own personnel out in the, in the local communities, partly for the duration that we're there and also to give some benefit through to the communities where we can. Axiona Inner here do things slightly differently to a lot of the other developers. We have a vested interest in the community and then with the landholders. As it's the biggest wind farm in the southern hemisphere at just over a gigawatt, it's got the capacity to power 750,000 houses, which helps meet the government's target of clean, renewable, affordable energy. Axiona Enahia is committed to renewable energy. Our business model is to not only develop, but also to construct, own and operate renewable energy assets for their lifetime. And we see Australia as one of the leading energy markets globally.